How do Outlook and Outlook.com relate? Hi there, everyone. I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com, where this is an important question that I want more people to understand because it really makes a huge difference when you're reaching out to people like me or others to get the answers you're looking for for the thing you're actually using. Here's the question. I use Outlook.com. Does that mean I don't need Outlook? Are they just two names for the same thing? If not, how do they relate to each other? The short answer is, the brutal answer is, the important answer is, Outlook and Outlook.com do not relate to one another at all. They are two completely different things, which is very frustrating. I get that. It's Microsoft being bad at naming again. They're taking a name, a brand name that they want to promote, Outlook, and then applying it to multiple different things while at the highest possible level. Yeah, they relate in that they're both about email. That's where the relationship stops. After that, they are completely different things. If I sound frustrated, it's because I am. And I say that because People will often refer to Outlook when what they mean is Outlook.com. And that means I will give them the answer for the wrong thing, an answer they can't use. So let's look at the difference, shall we? Outlook, the program, is a program that comes with Microsoft Office. It is software you install on your PC to manage your email. It is part of Microsoft Office. It is a fully featured, very capable, incredibly capable email program and personal information manager. And it can be extended with various add-ons and macros and all sorts of wonderfully nifty things. I used it for many years myself. Outlook.com is a website. It is not something you install on your machine. It is a website you visit in your browser. It is an email service where you can create an email address at Outlook.com. It also is the email interface for accessing your Hotmail.com, your Live.com, your WebTV.com, your Outlook.com, and perhaps other Microsoft email provided addresses. Can you see that they're two completely different things? One is a program you install on your PC. The other is a website you visit in your browser. They just don't relate at all, except they have the same part of their name. So which one do you want? Well, honestly, it's up to you. Outlook, as in Microsoft Office Outlook, which is how I've taken to referring it to in my written material, is a very powerful email program. Um, I can highly recommend it. It is probably one of the most powerful and certainly one of the, uh, uh, the most kept up to date commercial email programs that you can run on your PC. Uh, the next step down to me is Thunderbird, which I find somewhat simpler, a little lighter weight. There's pros and cons, but Outlook more often than not is something that you might find in a corporate situation. But if you've got Microsoft Office, you have a copy of Outlook on your machine, and it is something you might consider using to manage your email on your PC. Outlook.com, you know, if you've got a Microsoft account, you have an Outlook.com account. You already have something. You can, if you like, use Outlook.com to manage your Outlook.com email address or your Hotmail.com email address. It's a website. You can simply go to it and manage your email that way. It's up to you. What I care about mostly, and the reason that this is such a hot button item for me, is that you know which one it is you're using and that you refer to the correct one when you're asking people like me for help. Trust me, it makes a huge amount of difference and saves a tremendous amount of time and frustration. You'll appreciate it because you'll get faster and more accurate answers. I appreciate it because I don't have to turn around and ask you, well, which outlook did you mean? For the article on which this video 
okay, I'll admit it, for which this rant was originally based, for updates, for related links, and for comments on that article, visit askleo.com slash 1832. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching, and thanks for using the correct Outlook or Outlook.com. Thank you.